It's Tuesday, August 26th, 2008. I'm James Kotaki. Welcome to the show. I'm here once again on the grounds of the Pepsi Center. Behind me is a big color changing ball of some kind. Far behind me is Invesco Field where Barack Obama will speak on Thursday night. And in my hands is a remnant of last night's speaking excitement. But now, it's on to day two of the Democratic National Convention. Every day, as you know, they choose some theme, bring you a variety of speeches on that theme. Today's theme, renewing America's promise. It's all about economic issues and blah, blah, blah. But what's really gonna put him in the seats tonight is the primetime speech from Senator Hillary Clinton. Dun, 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 dun. It is my solemn obligation, and really the job of everyone in the media, to spin Hillary's speech as divisively as possible and to hope that her mere presence at the podium tonight spurns her supporters to intra-party warfare. This is what warfare looks like, apparently. Unfortunately, the AP reported that Obama and Clinton have agreed to limit the potentially interesting convention roll call vote where delegates could vote for either candidate. The plan is perhaps to have Clinton herself stop the vote by recommending a unanimous nomination of Obama. But fortunately, the AP reports that some Clinton delegates do not want to compromise. That's what I'm talking about. Please, Hillary supporters, fight to the end. And I mean, really get physical if you have to. Really fight. Because this thing is definitely the best convention story we have. Oh, and one final note. Just because this is the Democratic convention does not mean John McCain does not exist. And to prove it, he went on Leno last night to tell a few jokes, including, I'm so old that I warned people the British were coming and my social security number is eight. Wow. The Republican delegates are half as funny as their nominee. It looks like next week's convention is going to be a non-stop yuck fest. America, get ready to chuckle inaudibly to yourself. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotechi for more videos, including the Denver media experience. I'm very proud of that one. We take you places you will not go anywhere else right here on Kotechi TV.